Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to change two kinds of blades on the Wen scroll saw model 3920. So stick around. My name is James and this is Homestyle Woodcrafts. The two different kinds of blades that I'm going to be talking about today are the pin end blade and the plain end blade. And the plain end blade is sometimes referred to as a pinless blade. Each one of these blades attaches to the scroll saw in a different way. So let me show you the two different kinds of blade. This is a close-up of a pin end blade. I'm pointing to it with this pencil here. As you can see, the reason it's called a pin end blade is because there's a pin running through the blade. This pin is used to attach it to the scroll saw. One thing that's important to know is that the blade has to be as wide as it is to accommodate the pin. This is the end of a plain end blade. And as you can see, it's called a plain end blade because there's nothing there. It's plain. This attaches to the scroll saw by putting pressure on each side of the blade, both at the top of the blade and the bottom of the blade. And I'll show you how this works. When you compare the width of the two blades, you can see that the plain end blade is much narrower. This is a side view of my scroll saw. It is a Wen Model 3920 scroll saw. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to remove the table insert and this side panel. I've zoomed in a little closer so I can show you the upper blade holder and the lower blade holder. These are brackets that the blades attach to. You'll notice that they are mounted to the scroll saw in mirror image of each other. All right, now we're really zoomed in. This is the upper blade holder. The lower blade holder is just like it, only upside down. But each one of these blade holders has two slots to receive pin and blades. You'll see it right here at the end of my finger. And I'm going to move the camera around on the other side so you can see the other one. And the other slot is right here on the other side. The purpose for the two slots is so that you can set the orientation of the blade to meet your cutting needs. Before you try to install a blade, be sure that the tension on the blade is released. So check the lever that sits on the back side of the scroll saw and make sure that the lever is up. This is how easy it is to install a pin end blade into the scroll saw. The first thing that you do is lower the blade and insert the lower end of the blade into the slot so that the pins will hold it in place. Make sure that the teeth are pointing down and then depress the top blade holder and place the, end, the upper end into the slot. Once the blade has been set in place, push the tension lever down so that the blade is under tension. You can adjust the amount of tension by turning the tension lever either way, tighten and loosen. And once the blade is installed, Reinsert the table insert. This helps support small work pieces when you're cutting. Once you're familiar with the saw, installing the pin end blade is not very difficult at all. Now let's move on to installing the pinless blade. It's a different process, but again, once you're familiar with the different parts, it's not that complicated. The scroll saw comes with these two blade attachments, which will allow you to use a plain end blade with the scroll saw. They are identical. One will go on the top of the blade and one will go on the bottom of the blade and it doesn't matter which. How this works is you will insert the blade into the hole at the bottom. There is a screw on each side. There is an allen wrench screw here and a flathead screw here. When you insert the blade in the bottom hole, you will insert it just past the two screws and then tighten it down, one on each end of the blade. Let me show you. To attach the blade to the blade attachment, just take one end of the blade and insert it into the hole at the bottom. And you'll wanna put it just past those two screws. And hold it down pretty firmly because you're gonna to wanna to tighten it down pretty good. Sorry probably blocking the view with my hand, but tighten it down like so. There you have it. 
There's one end. For the other end, you do just the same. Insert it into that little hole, just past the two screws. Tighten it down fairly tight so that it will stay in place when you're sawing. There you go. Easy as pie. Actually, it's probably easier than pie. Pie has a lot more ingredients. But we'll talk about that some other time. Although I like my pie with ice cream. Okay, so I want to zoom in on the blade holder again. And again, the upper blade holder and the lower blade holder are identical, except that they're flipped. But notice this little hook right here. So if you look at the blade attachment, see that little bar? That's going to rest right on that hook. But so let me show you. We still have the pin end blade on here, so we need to take that off first. So the first thing I'm going to do is release the tension. I'm going to remove the table insert. I'm going to push this down and it comes off really easy. As you go to install the blade, make sure that the teeth are pointing down and that the teeth are pointing forward. So let me point your attention down here. I'm going to hook that little bar on the hook down here. I'm going to depress this and hook it here. And I'm going, now going to reset the tension on the back side of the scroll saw. Now, when you're changing from a pin end blade to a plain end blade, you're gonna have to adjust the tension because they fit a little differently. So, but now you're all set. The blade is installed. You can put the table insert back in and you are ready to go. So this may sound a little weird, which will be no surprise to the people that know me, but I love making videos like this. And here's why. The better we know our tools, the better we know technique, the more we can focus on our creative side and creating whatever piece of woodworking, whatever craft we're working on, and try to make that vision that we have in our head of whatever we're trying to make a reality. And this is just one little step along the way. I hope you've learned something in this video. If you want to learn more about tools, more about techniques, and want to see some of the projects I make, Subscribe to this channel and hit that notification button so that you'll be notified when I put up something new. Hey, if you like this video, check out this one. I think you'll like it too. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you next time and go have some fun.